All right, you're still tuned in to Market Pulse. Right now, we're spotlighting President Bola uh, Sinibu's decision. Uh, he has approved the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited to use the 2023 final dividend uh, owed to the Federation to cover the cost of petrol subsidies. Uh, the President has also approved a halt on the payment of 2024 interim dividends to the Federation to help boost NNPC's cash flow. NNPC has also informed the President that due to the subsidy payment, it is currently unable to pay taxes and royalty into the federation account. Uh, this is what you know we're, we're going to be focusing on, and you know they're calling this basically a subsidy short for FX differential. We're going to have David Olujimi, financial markets analyst, with Narimetrics to break this down for us. What do you make of these moves, David? And uh, have we been able to verify the exact amount of dividend that would be withheld or put on hold? So we've not been able to verify the exact amount because um, the audited financial statement or the NMPC's financial statement for 2023 is not yet out. But according to their statement for 2022, the year ending 2022, December 2022, they made a profit of about 2.5 trillion naira. That is, um, I'm not sure that amount is able to, to is able to cater to subsidy for 2023. There's also a projection that NMPC should have made more money. We had um, oil price increases in 2023. We've had oil price around um, 86, 85, um, 80, between 80 to 85 dollar per barrel in 2024, as at least as of now. We've not been able to very, we can't say exactly how much NMPC has made because we don't have, there's no data mm. to that effect yet. NMPC has not released their 2023 financial statements. Mm. Transparency. Um, so considering NMPC's transition from a government-owned corporation to a limited liability and the prospects, we don't know whether it's going to happen or not, of a future listing uh, of its shares on the NGX, and this should be in line with the PIA, uh, could yeah. decisions have been made, uh, could this decision have been made if it was listed on the exchange? And what does this move perhaps mean ahead uh, for a potential listing? So basically, this decision could not have just been made if it was a listed company because now you have shareholders who you have to report to. Mm. You have people who want to get their dividends. This is a company that is making trillions of naira. If it was a listed company, this is the most profitable company in Nigeria. If it was a listed company, this company would be like would probably have like half of the NGX market cap on its own, or probably all of the NGX market cap. Because this company should be worth at least should be worth at least fifty billion dollars. I'm not sure, but um, one thing that is there is that if it was a listed company, we don't think they can pull this off. We don't mm. think they can make a move such as this, mm. which is why we feel like the government should come up with longer lasting solutions to subsidy. Right. If they know they are not able to cater to subsidy, then they should be able to come up with like um, they should allow. In incentives like that go to refinery function, let us know if a price control is possible from us if we are able to produce our own petrol. Hmm. So that is one thing that I feel like. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's a case of. Okay, yeah, it's really something. interesting to see how you know this these decisions would be made if that company was listed on the NGX. But finally, before I let you go, I would like to get your overall assessment of this move, considering the trade-off in terms of government revenue, right, um, and the inability of the company now to pay taxes and royalties. So one thing that is there is that government government revenue is usually or should be targeted towards the people in the country, the individuals in the country. Naira, the petrol price is about, at least as of today, is selling about 800 Naira per liter, 850 per liter in parts of the country. In some places, 900 per liter. That is a subsidized petrol price. Imagine not making this move and we begin to have petrol prices at 1,600. There is no amount of government revenue that can cater to the amount of inflationary pressure we've seen on the economy. There's no amount of government revenue that will be able to cater to the kind of suffering that will be meted out to Nigerians. We cannot see government revenue um, solving the problems of hiking cost of goods and services that will affect the country. It basically affect the macroeconomy of the country. Mm. So I feel like the trade-off is, is, is sensible when you look at it. Okay. All right. I will see how this pans out and how reactions continue to roll in. Thank you, David, for that breakdown. Thank Financial you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you.